Hey guys, how's it going? Whammo here. Welcome to Valley. Uh, I don't really know what to expect from this game. It, oh, a gender, huh? <laughs> Female, I guess. That's uh, just what I pick all the time. The life seat is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item. Luring some to incredibly remote locations. Interesting. We might kick it down a notch with this game. Like I might I not you. be as loud as I normally am. Before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The life seed? Life seed. I admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but... Can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Intro, okay. Interesting. Straight into the title screen, I suppose. So we're adventuring looking for the life seed. Fascinating. Oh, <laughs> not a good way to start your adventure, little missy. What? What the hell happened? How did you end up like this? Huh? Huh? In a cave of some nature, coming out of water, underwater cave? Did you? Whoa! The mouse sensitivity is redonk. Oh, you were apparently canoeing. <laughs> Useless discount canoeing lessons. All right, game. I think I like you already. There seems to be something making noise on the ground. Hello? Do I have a crouch? I don't have a crouch. Radio is fried. Oh, seem to have broken just about everything we own. At least we still have pat. Oh, never mind. The paddles are broken. Oh. Hmm. Is that a Canadian flag on that backpack, or is that the branding? It's it's a maple leaf backpack. Interesting. So where? Oh, this is beautiful. I don't have a jump. I have a sprint. Interesting. It's beautiful. It's a good looking little game, little adventure game. Cave drawings. Oh, that's just great. What is that? This isn't supposed to be a horror game. What? It's like a crazy squid eyeball monster. He's got like a tree growing out of him. Hello? Damn it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Two things I didn't want to do right there. Ah, okay. Yeah, I got the sprint to run. I understand that. But, uh, where? What else is going on in here? Don't appear to have much. Have a body, I guess. So that's a plus. It's always good when you see a game where your character actually has a model. It means they put time into the animations and whatnot. And give, given the music and God, the music in this game is really good. I enjoy the shit out of that. Look at this landscape. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. You could just sit here and appreciate this game. I almost would think it would be a. Uh, a walk and talk kind of game, but I don't think it is. As far as I know, it's a platform puzzler. Oh, there's the title screen. Inspiring here. Let's get a nice screenshot, huh? Yeah? There you go. I have that. <laughs> it's... Ah, very nice. Very ambient. I, I, I like that. It's cute. Very good looking. What is going on in here? Some floaty blue air jellyfish? I don't, I don't know that we should be approaching the air jellyfish during their mating season. They are all drone to this tree. They are very dangerous during their mating season. What are... What are you? It, like, reacted to me. Hi? Can I... I can't interact with it. Just... Just, you know... Just air jellyfish. You know, during their mating. You know, nothing, nothing serious. Don't watch it. They don't like it when people watch. <laughs> just ignore that that's going on over there. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Just so long as you don't behold it for too terribly long. Well, that's not... That's not good. What are those little green things over there? The music is all, like, uppity and happy and inspiring. But there's, like, skulls on this thing and, like... Alright, game. Look, we can't... We can't have skulls and be all mystical and inspiring at the same time. We can't do both. What the... What are you little things? Hello? Hello? They make noises. But I don't... They don't seem to do anything with me. They're just... Just little bunny rabbits. Yeah, what is... I agree with that question. <laughs> I 
How hard did you hit your head? Indeed, I appreciate the subtitles in this. Those are very tastefully implemented. Okay, so we're, we're seeing some strange creatures. Maybe you should eat these mushrooms. That always helps when I'm hallucinating from hitting my head. Just wild mushrooms. Just nothing better than that right there. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's definitely an old army truck. It's a very old army truck, jeez. Uh, don't... Okay, you find an open arm... Oh. This is just generally a bad idea. Wow. Crate of knowledge. Pick up leaf suit. A very old mechanical suit. Why would you just put that on? I understand it'll drive this story's progression, but... Okay. Do you just have an 8-bit... <laughs> Do you just have an 8mm video player with you? Because that's what this looks like. To the program. Oh, I see. Look at that! Fantastic. What? How is that possible? In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf suit. Okay, so we've been given a suit, apparently developed during World War II, that has the ability to give and take life. Oh, that's a jump and a half, that is. <laughs> See what's on these old audio reels, huh? Who? Okay. Virginia oh. King. Audio journal. June 4th, 1941. Who? Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. They found the life seed! That's as good a place as any to study them. They found the life seed during World War II. What does this say? And the Northeast Dig Site... No, THE Northeast Dig Site is providing a number of clues towards the stone-cutting techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The Pathfinders were assigned to exploring the site, have uncovered a wide array of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the methodology. Why? Modern stone-cutting is far more advanced and quicker than any ancient tech that they might have. Look at that. So these things are old, but damn, are they... Are they nice? Sorry, I, you hear weird noises every now and again. This is smooth as all balls. I appreciate that. All balls being, you know, people shave... Never mind. For, forget I said that thing about the balls. Don't worry about that. So we're running this way. I have a bunch of meters up in the top left. Okay, so the game's based on momentum. Interesting. Do I need to sprint, or can I just slowly... Nope, I need to sprint. Okay, well, let's run and jump like a badass. Woo! Oh my god! Oh, that is great! What a fantastic feeling. This is, plays extremely well. Look at this. Look at how fast you are. Yeah, yeah, search for the life seed. I know. Jump it! Oh, yes. So good. Oh, I must have... Okay, so we don't want to be strafing when we land. Noted. All right, here we go. Another big jump. You guys ready for this? 360 no scope! <laughs> Put me off my path a little bit, but that's fine. Alright, we're getting in towards where the life seed may be then. I suppose if they already dug it up and there's ruined vehicles and stuff around here, it should be just sitting out in the open, hopefully. One could wish for that. Energy stored within the leaf suit, known as... Amrita, can be given to once living things. What? So this thing operates on a foreign energy. Left click shoots energy towards dead trees or animals. Okay, uh... Alright! I don't know what I expected. Uh, cool. 
Oh look, my energy pips deplete. Oh, I assume I'm tasked with bring. That is a big buck. Anyone else here hunters? No, I'm not a hunter, but I mean, look at that. That's a big buck. You come back to life. Somebody needs to shoot you and hang you on their wall because you are a large deer. Yes, gallop into the distance, you beautiful bastard. Huh, okay, so that depletes a pip of energy. I seem to have eight pips of energy at the moment, but there's most definitely room there for more upgrades. Uh, mm hmm. That appears to be a sheer wall with some nice little jumps leading up to it. Ah, look! See, I know how to solve, you know, platforming puzzlers like this. Just jump up these nice little hills that are put conveniently here for us. A uh, hoop? Oh yeah, no problem. Wow, you got some jumps on you. Alright, calm down on the jumpy jumps. There we go. That wasn't that bad. Oh look, more, uh, more, uh, more air jellyfish? Is that what I called them? Oh, they're orbs. We need to touch them. Ew, they're probably sticky. You know what they were doing up here? Uh, okay. So those give us one pip each. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just gonna keep following the, uh, the red marker and running through these orbs, which seem to be doing nothing because I am full energy at the moment. So, uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we're fine. We're f Oh, I probably should've jumped. I can jump mid-air? What? No water! Ow! Water bad! <laughs> what? Water kills you? Uh... Okay, they're very heavy, so water sinks bad. Got it. Water makes sinky sink. Can I double jump? Cannot double jump. Just need to make sure that I have the momentum to get over water. Although the jumping is extremely generous, I can jump way late and be just fine. That is good. Okay, well we're still on our way towards the dig site, searching for the life seed. Gain some momentum here so we can get along a little quicker. This would be a great speedrun game, actually. Given this momentum thing, I bet there's all kinds of exploits you can use. Oh, good thing I jumped there. Yep. Good to go. Hi, dear. Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is the last thing you see before you hit a deer in a car right here. Life can also be taken from nearby living things rich in energy, such as tree or animal, hmm. to replenish your suit. Less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. Why would you want to do that? I guess, I guess maybe, I don't want to take life, I don't need to, I'm full on energy. There's no reason to do that. Uh, let's head this way. Head this way, because the dig site is over yonder. I'm glad that there's a compass and a little marker, uh... That's like, uh... Um, Oblivion-style marker there, the compass. It's kind of nice. Their compasses are very good. Nice clouds, god rays. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to run like this. I know, you end up running into stuff. Ha! Ah, can I jump onto this? Uh, uh, air control is decent. It has decent air control. Find a way through the ancient ruins. Okay. Um... Hmm... You see a path that is immediately obvious? Let's go check the... What is up with that? Let's go check the door first, I suppose. Something's going on with that tree. It's got some fireflies on it. it must be firefly mating season two. Well, I assume that was a door, but... It doesn't appear to be. It wants me to give life to the tree, so... Okay... The fireflies react to energy. Interesting. Oh, this is the excavation. Excavation site. Alright, well, let's grab a few more of these to top off our energy so we don't have to kill any of these poor little innocent cr calls this valley Area creatures. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Sassurus. Sassurus? The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. Words aren't inherently beautiful. I that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sassurians. <laughs> To think these ruins have existed here for so long. They predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Oh, okay. Instead of, like, electricity, these guys use the, whatever the energy they called the thing that powers this suit as energy. Which I assume these guys use too. Can I? Wow, I never saw one of their faces. Look at it. Oh my god, that is creepy. I decided I want to kill you guys. Okay, never mind. I don't want to kill you guys. What the hell was that? I'm out of here. Remind me not to drain life from those guys ever again. That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. That was legitimately scary. I thought he was going to kill me. Uh, eat open crates. Okay. Energy upgrade. Uh, increase, increase capacity. Find four to complete an energy canister. Okay, well, there's there's two. Oh, I have to find all the uh, all the little pips in it. Okay, 
I could watch these... Oh, what is that? I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They did come right up to me until I tried to drain the life from one and he turned red and tried to assault me. Nah, that's not quite accurate. He didn't try to assault me. Did we get an energy upgrade? We did. And it refills us. Okay. It's good to know. Very useful, I think that might be. Can I break things like vases or anything? Can I jump on these? Do these drop Zelda rupees? Nope, guess not. Rupees could be an interesting form of currency. At least it's fairly easy to find these trees that I need to hit because, you know, it's fireflies and shit looking all ominous and shit around. Can I jump up that? Is that high? Eh. Do I need to? I need one more tree. Does it... Doesn't point towards the last tree I need, so I'm gonna go this way. Let's assume that the last tree is behind this obstacle course over yonder, shall we? Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Snipe. Every guy back home's gonna wanna go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. I see. So leaf suits were designed here using this energy that is here. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. There's no way to get more momentum and I see other rooms. So before we drop down there, let's just have a little jaunt around the perimeter here really quick. Have a look, see at the architecture. That's why we do this kind of stuff. Acorns? Collect enough acorns to gain access through ancient doorways. Well, certain ancient doorways. Interesting. Acorn, acorn, acorn. And a medallion. But these medallions are said to be used to access access an ancient pyramid. Connect enough... Let me try that again. These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Huh. Okay. So there's there's a few little collectibles. Not quite a collectathon, but they have a point, I suppose. We might keep a lookout for those. We might not. Let's go in this other room as well. See what's over here. Come on, bear with me. This, this is very serene. It's, it's kind of nice. It's cute. Oh, don't miss that. Straight down. Boom. All right. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> Soldiers piloting leaf, stu leaf suits are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds of up to 110 kilometers an hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. The Battlefield 5 by chance? Just got an achievement. The journey begins. Hmm. Interesting. I would love to have these in a Battlefield game. What are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. They're mating jellyfish. About them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. They don't. But I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. They don't seem to be sentient, so I mean, don't fall in water. So the, it's fine to it's fine to mess with the the you know the mating air jellyfish. They respawn as well. That's good to know. An unlimited supply of energy, I suppose. These mushrooms are everywhere too. They don't seem related though. So that's a thing. Hello. I said I wasn't gonna do that. Sasurus. So they are going with the Sasurus name, huh? Alright, that's fine. There's more of those little green things down there. Should I try and drain the energy? Ha ha! Reward looking around, huh? Eh? Oh, just another medallion. I don't know how useful those are going to be. I guess we'll wait and see. It might be an endgame thing. It's hard to say. Although it is just unbelievably beautiful out here, isn't it? Look at this. It's so nice. So peaceful. Oh, there's like rings. Oh, was this a structure of some kind? At some point it must have been. Odd. Should I drain the energy from one of these and see what it does out in the open? Because I think that other one was kind of stuck where it was. Do I dare? Are they all going to attack me? Will this change my game's progression? You! You're the one I've chosen to kill. What's going to happen to you? He, he doesn't seem to care. He's just, he's just sitting there. Very, very perplexed about his situation. Okay, here you go. You, you can have that back. Be happy again. <laughs> That might come into play later, I'm not entirely sure, but it's something, I suppose. Oh, this thing's rickety. No. No. No, I jumped! I jumped! Fuck you, game! I jumped! Ah! Wow, you fall really slow. I was gonna scream the whole way down, but we're alright. 
Valley health? What is... What just happened? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, let me read that first. The Leaf Suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. I... God. You put quantum in any sentence, you, that doesn't... Oh, whatever. It's a game, right? <laughs> I, uh, should have missed that, but apparently it was a cutscene. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, barely. Nailed it. Oh, there's a dead deer here. Get. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley would die around you until it's fully deadened. <laughs> Without energy, without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Well, let's just, let's just add some more life to things, shall we? Is that tree okay? That tree's fine. Is that tree dead? Probably. Let's bring her back. Ah, oh, there we go. We got another little, little, little life pip thing. Let's bring that tree back too. Fuck it. Bring this tree back as well. And this one. Bring it all back. I don't even, I don't need this energy for anything. Just fucking I'm popping off trees left and right. I need this when I'm out gardening. Fucking maybe my hostas might live more than a season then. <laughs> Alright, well look, these little orbs seem... Huh. I thought we entered the excavation site earlier. Whatever. These little orbs seem pretty ubiquitous. I mean, they're kind of everywhere. The natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life cycle. Said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. What? No wonder the military is so interested in this place. Apparently that tree does produce a life seed. Only one- why is there like markers all around me now? Interesting. Let's see what these notes say. These acorn doors are pretty neat. Cra Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in Sector 3's. <laughs> in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. My note reading is on point today. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that word, of Norse, Norse mythology which provided a map for the composition of the universe. Okie dokie. Acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld, but more recently in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin, causing its fall. Some deep shit right there. That's, um, yeah. A little too into it for me. We'll just ignore all of those sentiments. Uh, we got some blue glowy doors, and that appears to be where the game is pointing me. So that's where the game is pointing me. Uh, uh, mind that cut right there. Nothing important happened. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we run towards these doors. Do I have a tab? I don't have a tab menu. I don't appear to have an inventory of any kind. I have... Oh, my... You, uh, I was looking for my acorn count. It's up on the top left of the screen, you idiot. Well, let's just run over this door then and check it out. See what we can do. Uh, that's the music. It sounded like something was following me. Oh, that's cute. Again, good score. Good composition in this game. I like it. Oh, look, another little platformer. That's that's nice. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we gotta jump from over there. I was gonna say, I don't know I have the distance to make that jump, but I think I should be able to make this one. Maybe more of a yump, though. Here we go. I, I got... Uh-oh. 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 No. Need more momentum. Oh, no. The valley. No. I'm just murdering trees left and right. Yeah. <sighs> Quantum entanglement and such. Tree, come back to life. I didn't mean to murder you. I'm sorry. Is there any other trees that died because of me? I didn't mean to do it. it wasn't my fault. Are there any dead deer laying around here? Nope, we're fine. So we gotta get some speed before we can make that jump. It's interesting. I wonder if we can just get enough right here. I think so. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Pl co no, come on! <laughs> I'm just gonna murder this whole valley trying to make this jump. It's great. Oh, had I paid attention to the uh, objective there in the top right, it says follow the roots to activate all of the obelisks. Which, I think this is one here, right? I mean, that's where that root's going. So there has to be a way to jump to that. I think I'm just bad at jumping. I think that's the problem here. <laughs> oh, no, there was a way around the back. We're good. Found a path. I suppose if I had paid a little more attention, I might have seen that. That's alright. Uh, oh shit, that's a, that might be a pretty rough jump too, huh? Water is just extremely risky, isn't it? I guess they had to have a death plane of some kind, and why not be as common as water, huh? There we go. That was no problem. The origin of this valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. You and me both. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious 
forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilization, such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Interesting. That was all completely pointless. Thank you, though. Ooh, energy. It's two. So how? Give life to it? Oh, I get... Jeez. Thing exploded with life. Did you see that? So that's... Okay. So we just have to activate all those. Is there a way back down without having to go through the crazy water puzzle thing that I went through before? Uh, oh, look at that! I just realized that's there! You see it? Oh, can you see that? Does compression do that favors? It's a big demon head. Oh, it's a head with very jagged, sharp teeth. Let's go this way. I see another path we can take with a dead tree on it. And it's, that dead tree is probably my fault, so we're gonna... We're gonna go over there and heal that tree up real quick, because... Energy consumption doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh-oh. Can I make this? Haha! <laughs> Snipe! Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. No problem. I'm just gonna fix all the problems that I cause by dying constantly. Or at least attempt to. These are some... I wouldn't say they're precise jumps, they're kinda not, but they feel like they are. Let's get us back to mainland here. There we are. Do you want any secrets over here? I don't see anything. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. That's all you want to give us, game? That's all you can give us? Let's head over to that other obelisk and power up this life seed tree. Maybe we're at right at the thousand years when it produces another life seed. We don't have to worry about anything. Wouldn't that be nice? Look at the momentum. Fuck, the speed you gain is insane, even off the tiniest of slopes like this. Vroom! It's crazy fast. I wish there was a way to preserve that. I bet there is. I just don't know. Maybe if I jump? Oh, yeah, just jump at the bottom of hills. Okay, that makes sense, actually, kind of. So, whatever. Cool. Did, did you just get winded right there? Did I just, like, take a deep breath for some reason? Are these trees dying, or are they just naturally orange? I think they're just naturally orange. Must be fall, or getting to be fall. Autumn? That time of year around here? Yeah, the trees are changing colors and whatnot. Is there anything... Is there any jumpy puzzles up to this tree? Or this obelisk tower? There doesn't appear to be. Oh. This one goes under... Oh, excuse you. This one goes underground. Do I just jump into this? <laughs> I don't know why, I just didn't expect that to work. That's fantastic. According to legend, the life seed is said to be a bringer of death on a global scale. Splintering the earth into fragments. Such end time scenarios are common across mythologies. From the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. Why mortals? Why do we have to bring gods into this? You guys may not be able to hear that dialogue. Nah, you probably can. I might try to buff it up as much as I can so you can hear the dialogue, but... Basically, it's a bunch of filler nonsense. I'm debating on cutting that out or not. <laughs> we'll see. Hi, deer. Man, these bucks are huge in this game. Massive deer, and these roots go everywhere. Really shallow roots, though. Mm, they'd mess up your cement on your driveway for sure. How am I supposed to- Wow, we're going fast! How am I supposed to get up to this one? <laughs> you see how fast we were going there? Alright, well that's a sheer wall. I like the amount of speed that you can get off of this. It's pretty impressive. What is that? I keep seeing something right there. Am I crazy? I definitely was seeing flashes of something that was weird. Maybe it was a light playing tricks. Almost felt intended, but it looked- Oh, uh, that was what I was seeing. Did you see it too that time? It kind of flashed. By giving life to trees, there's a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Well, I would have known that. I would have been looking for them. Gosh darn it. Well, oh well. Requires three acorns. Hmm. Fancy that. I happen to have five. Wow. <laughs> Not quite Zelda level fanfare, but still quite a bit of fanfare on that. sprites of this valley, which I've come to call daemons, are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but... Without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. Demons, hun. Demons. Is, is that not sp the spelling of demons? Not daemons? Am I stupid? No, I don't think I am. Eh, eh, eh. What's this say? My mother would tell me stories of demons as, as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. Interesting. That name seems fitting. 
It will have to do for now until a zoologist can classify these. She just told us all that. That was literally just in the message she read. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Uh, am I going the right way? That, that thing is like, oh, it's right there. I, I guess I am going the right way. It works for me. Uh, at least I haven't killed the valley too much. It's still the top left of the screen. There's little uh, dead leaves on my little leaf thing over there. That's how much I've killed the valley by dying. Wow! You got big, son. You're fucking eating your Cheerios. Let's run down this vine extremely hazardously and then jump. Oh yeah, this is only gonna hurt a little bit. Nah, we'll be fine. We're wearing a life suit or a leaf suit. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the running and jumping in this game is extremely rewarding, and I enjoy it. It's a, uh, it's very visceral. It's something I can't explain. You could just have to try the game. Uh, incidentally, I'll leave the link in the uh, description to the Steam profile for it if you'd like to give it a shot. It's really not hard to find if you look for it, but I'll put it there nonetheless. So, do we just drop down this hole? Uh, that was an interesting little stop that you did there. Here we go. Uh, How did this civilization take hold so far north? I don't know. Here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. Seems pretty nice out for autumn. I believe this place was used as a secret ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? What? <laughs> I, I'm... Mm, interesting. Inter oh, I thought that was water for a second. I was really concerned about it. Oh, this is an upgrade thing, isn't it? Is this an upgrade thing? What is that? What are those? Crazy Xenoblades? Am I gonna get Ion Swords? <laughs> get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Now it makes sense. Also, it looks like you're letting out a blue fart. <laughs> now it makes sense because, you know, we're using energy suddenly for our maneuverability. Now... We're gonna start draining the environment. The secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. Am I bad at the game, or am I just an idiot? How in the hell? One, two... There we go, Jesus. Did you see all the times I failed that? Oh my god. Alright, so now we've got a double jump. Oh, it actually is a true legitimate double jump. It reverses your momentum and everything. Good to know when we're using it to break our fall, which actually we won't need to be doing. Oh, look at there. Virginia King. Who have we been listening to? Who is that chick that's been talking? While pyramids are common through Mesoamerica, I still can't believe my eyes <laughs> seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a hundred meters away. Hmm. A few hundred meters away, sorry. Apparently the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Interesting. My note reading is not on point right now, I apologize for that, but... You know, interesting bits of lore. So they're building a- they built a facility, a military facility. Oh, that's a water pit, isn't it? Uh, a few hundred meters from a... Pyramid of some nature. How in the crap? Alright. Guess we have to sprint that, don't we? But there's nowhere to gain up momentum, so we're just gonna have to rely on our double jump. Here we go. YOLO. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, <laughs> no problem. Right as we start to lose upward momentum, we just hit it again. Works perfectly. Uh, well, there's Given a how rarely a life seed is produced, I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. <laughs> Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. There's an elevator shaft outside? Huh. Must have missed that on the schematics. Definitely didn't see an elevator outside, but well, we'll just ignore that. Alright. So there was a life seed there. Interesting that it, you know, damn it. <laughs> Interesting that it formed underground, even though it's uh, named as a seed. How in the crap? Am I? Okay. Yep. This game really likes to put stuff right at the limits of where your jump can reach, or I'm just an idiot. Probably the latter of the two. There we go. See, I can do this. Shut up. I got I got this. So there's an elevator shaft outside, I guess, leading up to a military facility, meaning that the pyramid is around here somewhere. Right? And I didn't see a pyramid outside, so... Don't know where that... I can give life to something out there. What can I possibly give life to? Oh. Well, why is that pointing that way? That's not normal. 
Silly vines. Oh, we're going downhill. Yes, it is normal. Never mind. Cancel. Ah! Oh, good thing I jumped. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, probably should slow her down a little bit. Slow her down, boys. <laughs> I think had I jumped again, I probably could have made it to that. Interesting. It's a loading bay for the facility. Beware the Amarita swarms. They can be pacified with life energy. Damage from their attacks affect your energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Okay. So it's either be hit by them and they take the energy or just give the energy to them willingly. There you go. How much energy does it take? How much do you need? What does it take to fucking satisfy you? Jesus. You guys are hungry little bastards, aren't you? Hungry, hungry little bastards. They're like swarms of locusts. Well, at least we have an antagonist now. There's some threat. Can I just stand on this and it'll respawn infinitely? The other ones seem to respawn. Nah, we're not gonna find out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's climb to the top of this thing and have a look-see outside. I wanna see if there's a pyramid out here somewhere. Surely there is. I probably could've just avoided that and ran through this area. Huh. Good to know. I still got two full tanks of energy. If there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Interesting. Why would they lose energy, though? Oh, look, another upgrade. Fancy. What is that? I keep... Oh, energy upgrade. Uh, the the blah, blah, blah. The energy canister increases your suit's energy capacity by four units. Oh. So it's just a free full upgrade, huh? Wow. They ain't playing around, are they? <laughs> Whatever, we're getting more energy. I can appreciate that. What do you say? In case of power shortage, please, please use Amarita generators. They have really uh, used this power to its fullness, haven't they? Yeah, 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 I got you. So... I'm just assuming that there's no power here and we're gonna have to use this. <laughs> yep! We are? What? This elevator's really loud! I can't hear you! How does that thing work? It's not even plugged in! You gotta plug it in to work! Oh, the fade to black. When a Pathfinder dies by wearing a leaf suit, when a Pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they are, what is the hell is that? Oh, it's are revived at the cost of other nearby living things. Oh, that's not right. This exciting yet dangerous something 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 loads too fast. Good to know. Achievement there, nowhere to go but up. Quest updated. Get to the Soma facility atop the mountain. Oh, I can do that, I think. Why is their facility so high up here? Look at all the protection nets around that. Uh, no, no, fur we want to go further. Fur further up. We need more life? Okay. Never mind. I'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll be down here. <laughs> Crappy lift operators. Titan Rock! Good name. Good name. One of my cats is named Titan. From He's a very cute told, little thing. Cisurus was discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, his story was written off as the senile delusions of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. It was not until recently that the government was approached by a scientist named Andrew Fisher to use this location as an alternative energy project of some sort. How he came to discover this place is beyond me. Apparently everybody here knew about the life seed. You're asking the wrong questions. How in the heck do we get up there? What is this? It's a garage! Excuse me, can I come in? No? How do we get up there? Is there another way to use the lift? Uh, is there a jumpy jump point? Wow, we are way up there, aren't we? Huh, is that that big tree over there? It might be. Interest- Ow! How I- that's one- one downside to this suit. You jump in doors and you splatter yourself against the ceiling. <laughs> Imagine they had a few incidents- OH MY GOD of that during training! <laughs> Fucking hell, recruits splattering themselves against ceilings. You know what? We're, I don't even want to deal with you. Let's just ignore you for now. Don't- Ow! Don't think I need to worry about you for the minute. For the moment- Oh my god! Didn't expect that to be a death plane. Uh, bah, bah. Okay. <laughs> it's- it's- it's not bad air control. It's- it's fairly decent. It's just- 
It's hard to anticipate the distance that you're actually gonna jump. Yeah, there we go. No problem. No problem. Tree, I didn't kill you, but you need to come back to life. Same with you. There we go. Just bring these trees back. Get them back to life. Get some nice, healthy environment going on here. I mean, you know, we're all pro-environment in this place. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't kill that thing, because there's a lot of them here. Would have drained a lot of energy to try and kill them. What is that? Oh, that's one of those important trees that we need to... Ooh, look at that. That we need to uh, hit to... Uh, I need to grab this stuff quickly. To open doors. Ouch, 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 ouch. Actually, that really doesn't hurt all that much. <laughs> it's just one of these per hit, which really isn't too terribly big of a deal. Probably should kill that thing before I go around gathering stuff, huh? Nah, yeah, it isn't gonna matter that much. Wait, is that killing trees? No, it's not. Alright, so now we just go up? Alright, you know what? Look. Stop it. Three. It takes three to kill you. Wow, that burned a lot of energy. We're done though, right? Yes, we're done. Give me these. I need these right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Nah. Don't know why I brought that tree back. The fireflies were swarming around it like it meant something, but... Doesn't appear that it actually meant anything. Oh, there's another one up there, isn't there? Is there a... There's another one over there? This, that opened a door somewhere. I heard it. Yeah, for sure. I just don't know... Just don't know where that door might be. I think it's up... It's gotta be up those things, right? I, no way I can jump those. Not a chance in hell. There's gotta be another way to jump up this thing. So they like to give you really close jumps that you may or may not be able to make. It's very risky when you don't actually know how far your suit can jump. Such as... Uh, yeah, I didn't know if I could make that or not. Oh my god, it's so close. Uh, so hard to tell what you're able to jump to and what you're not able to jump to. Oh my god, that was close. That works though, whatever. There we go. See, that was no trouble. And we got the door open. Already nice. Clank, 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 clank. Metal on earth. The, the idea that metal meshes with life is kind of... Hard to swallow. Normally you don't see that. Normally you see the metal and infrastructure and industry being the antithesis to life, but... I guess this game just goes with it, huh? Let's make this massive jump. You ready? And... Yump! Oh my god. Okay, well... That was a good yump. Let's give it another one just for a little bit more speed. There we go. No problem. Oh look, one of those things. Give it three little bips. There we go. It is no longer a threat. I'm not gonna deal with those things anymore. They dangerous. Uh, are the trees all alive? Yep. I don't know why I'm worried that the trees are all alive. <laughs> I just really wanted to be alive. We have the power to give life. Might as well use it, right? Looking for any minor secrets we might have. I think we might need the upgrades that are provided by finding those vials every now and again during this game. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. Little quest markers. Hello? It's still pointed up there. So we still gotta make our way up to that side real quick. Oh, look at that. We can break through this roof. Interesting. I think I know where we have to go to do that. Oh. Well, that works. That's fine. Let's run up this way. And break our happy asses through that roof, shall we? Yeah, <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh. Get more energy on our way up there, because we are running dangerously low. We have five tanks, though. It's a good thing. Yep. Down into the hole with us. What secrets do you hide, facility? Hello? Oh. Nothing interesting. Let's see what this note has to say. Whoa. Please keep a safe distance. <coughs> Please keep a safe distance away from the Amarita storms. Swarms. They often become territor territorially aggressive when in need of Amarita. Jesus, I can't read. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a pathfinder to pacify the swarm. Oh, we made it through the note. That's all I can ask for. Uh, was that a full? Nope. Still need two more to get a full upgrade. What's this one say? Stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. Hmm. It could be a sign of possible espionage. Report trespasser sightings at once. Hmm. Oh, shadowy figures, you say? Well, in this world of mystery and adventure, I wouldn't... I wouldn't so quickly shove off the idea that there may be another life form here that is slightly more intelligent than the little floaty little ghosts that you see running along the ground. But, uh... Yeah, I suppose espionage is the first thing you go to when you're a military operative. Uh, hello? Yeah, these lights do still have power, suggesting maybe the power is being drawn from the life around it itself. Yep, down we go. Slidey slide. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's an upgrade right there. Let's see what's in you. What do we get for an upgrade? I'm excited to see it. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's some sort of arm cannon grappling hook. 
I was right about the grappling hook part. Swing yourself up to new places with the Viper Coil upgrade. Allowing Pathfinders to latch on to... Latch on... Wow. Allowing Pathfinders to latch onto Deadeye Crane Blocks. Each use costs one unit of energy. It's very common to see that, the one one unit of energy thing. Eh, useless flavor text about the life suit. How entertaining it is. The leaf suit allows Pathfinders to grapple onto certain target points within a limited range, allowing them to reach areas where jumps prove insufficient. For testing purposes, the Viper Coil is currently limited to particular targets. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, it's a click and hold type thing. Cool. Do I have my double jump? Oh, thank God I do. <laughs> that was dangerous. Oh, boy. Well, I'm still trying to... Oh, my God. Five acorns. Yes, please. We'll take all those. Still trying to make our way up to the top of the facilities, but I think we're going to leave... Nah, no, we're not. We're going to keep going a little bit further. I was kidding. Viper hook. Yeah, baby. That thing can get you some serious distance. For sure. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, how many acorns does this door require? I think we're coming up to the, uh, uh, five acorns? What do I have? 17? Oh, fuck. Yeah, no problem at all right there. I bet there's a secret up there, if you can get to it. Uh, where are we at now? Crane block overhead. Oh, so it is. Thank you, sign. I, I don't know what that's gonna do for us, but I guess it's something. So I don't know if the material- uh, that note just said they're exploring the valley, valley and they will soon have enough medallions to enter the pyramid. So I don't know if the military got into the pyramid or not. Hmm. So apparently we have to use this crane block, huh? But where are we going after we hit the crane block? Alright, well, we'll just do this then. And release. Oh my goodness! I understand now the viper suit reference. Yeah? Because it's like a snake, it recoils, it bites, yeah? Yeah, like a snake? Huh? Huh? Anybody follow me? Ah, oh, you guys get it. You know what I'm talking about. Come on. Don't play dumb. Uh, what is... Oh, it's another crane block. Man, they really like to use those things, don't they? Another acorn door, too. Or is this the same crane block? No, most definitely a different one. Do I have enough acorns to get through this door? Uh, 12 acorns. Oh my god, just barely. Well, what's this say? That... Some really deep notes in this game. I'm not gonna bother you guys with that one, but, uh, yeah. I don't know which way to go. Do we burn our acorns on this door, or do we head... I assume that's the intended path, and I might have more acorns than I'm supposed to, but... Fuck it. Acorn door! Yeah, look at the fanfare. What do we have in here? Is it just an upgrade part? Looks like just an upgrade part. Well, what upgrade part could you possibly supply? Oh, it's just another E-tank. I'm gonna call these E-tanks. You know, they they are E-tanks. Come on. Let's let's be let's be real here for a second. Those are E-tanks. Uh, yeah, that was just an upgrade room. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't expect upgrade rooms, but I guess that's cool. I, I enjoy seeing upgrade rooms. Let us Viper Strike. Okay, so jumping and swinging is not the way to use this. You want to pull directly towards it. There we go. I kind of waited a little bit to let go of that because I wasn't quite sure where it wanted me to go. And you. One, two, three. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to pacify all those things because... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're fine. If, even if we weren't fine, we would have just killed off a few trees to, uh, <laughs> to come back to life. It's no big deal to miss a jump. You just kill off everything around you in exchange for your life. Is that fair? <laughs> I don't know if that's fair to, uh kill off all the animals around you, suggesting that you are worth more than they are. Probably not. There we go. That's, but that's pretty deep, you know. Yeah, you don't want to get into that business. Uh, what's all over here? What does that say? Uh, check port 2. Hmm. Interesting. Upgrades. Yes, I always enjoy getting upgrades. Oh, more noit. More noits. Noits! So, question. This says uh, one of the workers was killed setting up one of the crane blocks. And he wasn't wearing a leaf suit. If you die wearing a leaf suit around other workers or other people, does it drain the energy from the people around you to bring you back to life? What is the exchange rate? Does it have to- oh, I didn't expect to go down. I don't know that I actually wanted to go down. Did I want to go down? You know what? Maybe. I might have wanted to go down. Uh, the sparking is normal. We want to go up, though. Up, machine. Up. Up, up, up. Up. There you go. What is the exchange rate? Is it one life worth two? The, these are security messages are completely pointless as there is nobody else here apparently. I don't I don't know well, we said World War II, so what, forty what it forties, nineteen forties, is that right? My history is terrible, guys. Don't quote me on this stuff. 
But yeah, that's a long time ago, so there's chances that somebody are here are pretty slim. So yeah, if a guy dies wearing a leaf suit around, like, a crowd, does the crowd just lose a portion of their life, or does it kill, like, three people to bring that guy back to life? There's a lot of unanswered questions about this whole quantum life-draining thing. And it, uh... Uh, yeah, it maybe raises more questions than it answers. How does it, how does it objectively quantify life essence, I guess, is the big question. It's something you really can't do. Can I make this? Oh, yes I can. Yep! Oh, beautiful! I've said it before and I'll say it again, the movement in this game is astonishingly good. It feels really good and fluid, and am I supposed to take these platforms to somewhere? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The Pathfinders must have trained here. myself in the company of a pathfinder named Edwin Hall. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me though. I tend to ramble a lot. Yeah you do. Is this a love story? <laughs> wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating. You could just say American guys calendars. That's tough, right? <laughs> guys, guys don't love calendars, lady. You need to calm down. <laughs> Young love. What a trivial thing. Uh, where the hell? Oh, well, you know, Whammo, if you just look the fuck around, you, I'm swearing again. I can't do that. If I just look around, I'd figure out where to go. And also, I have full energy bars, and I have a lot of energy, so that is... Ow! Good thing they put those nice, soft, wooden blocks there so I didn't hurt myself when I bounced off of that like an idiot. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Wooden blocks would not be soft. They would cause head trauma. And nobody wants head trauma. Unless you're wearing a leaf suit, in which case you suffer severe brain damage. Just kill yourself, you'll be fine. <laughs> you might kill the three people around you to come back to life, but you will be fine. That's all that matters. Unless they're wearing leaf suits, in which case, you know. Yeah, that probably causes a bad reaction where everybody... Everybody tries to revive themselves off one another and whatnot. Oh, look. Wait. Oh, look what? No, that is a swarm. I didn't think it was a swarm at first. I thought it was just a tree being weird, but no, it's definitely a swarm. So what secrets does this facility hold? Does this hold the life seed itself? Is the game going to be that short? Do we just walk up to the life seed? Wow. Okay, I'll read this one. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to extract its life before I could sw before it could swipe at my face. Interesting. I got real far before turning back to it to return its life energy. Hope I never see the likes of him again. That's an interesting conundrum, isn't it? You can bring things back to life. Hmm. Yeah, maybe more than I'm willing to explore, or maybe deeper than my psyche allows me to go. Oh, look, you get points. Huh, the land sharks. Why land sharks? Come on. I like raptors. Let's let's vote raptors. If we see one of these again, I'm gonna vote raptors. Just shows the team tally. So this was a training ground. So we have to go through their training course, I guess, to uh, prove that we are true leaf suit operators, which we are. Because I mean, come on, look at them skills. That was that was epic, as epic as it could have been. Are we getting to the training facility yet? I feel like well, there's check. Okay, so we are running through the course then. All right. Well, that's interesting. If nothing else, I suppose. Oh, more notes. Cool. I'll just grab all these first and see what this has to say. These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting out, of, getting, getting to that pyramid first is going to be tough. Hopefully, I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. Yeah, it doesn't appear that they actually got to explore the pyramid quite yet. We're not going to jump to this. We're going to just grapple to it and then jump from it. There we go. So it doesn't miss that. It doesn't appear that they did actually explore the pyramid, which is good news for us. Which means we'll be able to get in there and check it out first which i like oh it's gonna be a moment momentum jump momentous jump i like that there we are have you guys seen any dead trees have i missed any dead trees around along the way have you guys noticed somebody somebody keep track in the comments not that there's gonna be many people watching this but keep track in the comments let me know how many dead trees i missed can i bring this jeep back to life what is objectively different between a tree and a jeep one is just organically produced the other mechanically i don't they're Objectively, there is no difference. I mean, the universe doesn't care. <laughs> They're both just things put together by a system. Oh, the music kicking in. Soma facility. Hmm, very run down. 60, 80, 90 years will do that to you, I suppose. Rest updated. I don't have a marker. How long has it been abandoned? We just went over this. Shy of 100 years? Oh, these are... <laughs> they look like... They look like little candies wrapped up to fill suit energy. Interesting. Uh, do we just go in through the front door? It probably won't be that easy, will it? Will it be that easy to get in through the front door? Eh, no. 
That, it would never be that easy to get in through the front door, would it? Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go this way. Grab me a, grab me a little tasty candy. Wow. Four units of energy each. These are some tasty-ass candies. There's enough... Oh, if you consider that, there's enough life in one pellet to restore the life of an animal. There is four animal lives in each one of these little tiny packets. That is some energy density if there ever was something like that. Wow. Serious energy density right there. That defies the laws of physics. I like that. It's a video game. I'm overthinking it, I know, but still. Uh, still a lot of energy to pack into one small package. It explains why this leaf suit operates so well. It's not bound to our electricity bullshit. Our electricity is nothing compared to the leaf suit energy. I forget what they called it already. What the hell? You can jump through that? It made a funny noise. Oh. So you can. Doesn't appear to actually do anything but change your screen's color. That's cool. Interesting, I suppose, if nothing else. Why are there, like, like obstacle courses set up on these rooftops? How many people died trying to do this? They had to have answered the question of whether or not one person's life is worth another's. Because, you know... Well, I appreciate being brought in to study the valley. I wish the military's presence here wasn't so domineering. I can't say these giant structures add much to the view. It would be nice if this was simply a place of study and conservation. I'm doing my best to steer the army away from the ruins, but the only thing that seems to concern them is their project. Gathering up as many of these strange orbs as they possibly can. Because I'm sure during one of their training exercises that, you know, Ted the dumbass fell off a roof at some point and killed himself around a bunch of other people, so I'm sure they have answers to these questions. I wonder if we'll run into that problem, or if that is a key component to this game. Yeah, no shit, Amarita Storage. Jesus. There is a lot of animals worth of energy in there. Or, I, I guess people as well could be converted to that. But, this game makes it sound like people are worth, you know, more energy than animals are. Why is that a green orb? Why is that one green? Why was that one green? I don't- I don't like seeing different colored orbs. That is not friendly to me, or my face hole. Oh, more acorns, that's good. I shouldn't say that. No, I, I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna, you know, kill the environment around me. Uh... Oh, yeah, I see what you want me to do, game. However, which way do you want me to- I can go up- let's go up first. Let's go see what's up there. Yep. It's a good thing you fall through those crane- crane platforms. Or those- what do they call them? Whatever. The blocks, because otherwise you would just bonk your head on that thing, or, you know, just smash your face into it, killing you instantly. But, thankfully, we don't do that. Seems to be more... No, just energy. Anything else around here? Oh, don't jump off the edge. No, there isn't. So, Alright, so let's drop down here and smash through this hole in the roof, shall we? I can make that jump. Yep. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. Easy peasy. Boink! Nice! Nice! The life seed found within the valley produced once every thousand years from the so-called Titan Tree has been confiscated by the military and taken to the Soma facility for scientific purposes. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. The Ascent. Yeah, well, I'll agree with that. That was quite the Ascent. Quite the roundabout way to get up here. No trees or orbs nearby? Take energy from storage cells to restock your reserves. These are storage cells? How much energy is in one of these storage cells? Oh, I see. So each one of these little energy bars represents a pip. There is a lot of animal energy here. Where did they get all this energy from? Apparently it can only be created through life. So it would have had to... So it would have had to come from something, right? I, for some reason, expected that cord to lead to something. But, uh, apparently it did not. I didn't hear... This was that. Okay, I was like, did we just open that gate and a truck crashed into it since I stopped looking or what? <laughs> no. Just an idiot. Here we go, grab our energy back again. Yeah, it's an interesting thought. There's no life around here, so there's nothing to draw the energy from aside from you know, maybe other people, maybe not. Let's see what this note says. I'd give anything to be a Pathfinder, but there's no way I'd ever be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad. I bet, <laughs> I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things. For some reason, I kind of doubt the girls like the extra long legs, you know, and the two foot of height that it adds. Just saying. Within the summit facility, we're surrounded by the Amarita fuel slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder's quantum death side effects. Oh, so they do know about the side effects. Okay. I was amazed to one day step outside the facility only to see scores of dead trees around me. Yeah, that's not surprising. They would drain the environment pretty fast if they kept dying. What is... Andrew Fisher audio logs. I kinda don't want to pick those up. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see what Andrew Fisher has to say. 
No, we're not going. Oh, there we go. My name is Andrew Fisher, As it is. leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. Yeah. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Funds, pride, and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war. Thus giving rise to the name Pendulum. So the military wanted to make a weapon out of this. It seems like it would make a rather efficient weapon. No fallout. No anything like that. It just kills everything in the area. Which seems like kind of a moot point, considering you've got this much energy just from the facility, you can just bring it all back. Uh oh I missed. That's another green blob. Why are the ones in here green and the ones outside were blue? Is it a color shift inside, or is something different about them? I think something might be different about them. Interesting. At least we have a whole shit ton of energy. Look at how much energy we have. We have seven cells worth of energy. Uh, here's the Soma reactor. Oh, it's, it, no, that's the facility name. Soma isn't the name of the energy. Soma's the name of the facility. Give me all the energy out of you, pretty please. We just fry that thing real quick. Hmm. I don't know about this. This appears to be locked down pretty hardcore. Do we need to, uh, do we need to raise a platform or something and gain access to the reactor? Oop, I see you in there. Oh, what happened here? This is the first sign of, like, human death that we've seen, actually. If I'm assuming that it's human. It may not be. It may just be a splatter mark from, like, some water or something, but... We haven't really seen any, like, violent actions as of yet. That's the first one. It's interesting. Assuming that draining the life energy from an animal isn't violent, which... It, I would assume it's not. It seemed like a rather peaceful action, given its nature. But, uh, yeah. First kind of violent action we've seen. An interesting aside, I guess. Why are these containers leading to something? Who would set up something like this? As a precaution to both Nazi and Soviet espionage, Pendulum's location and purpose is unknown to the outside world. Taking a cue from the Manhattan Project, only a small few know of Pendulum's purpose, operating under the guise of an alternative energy project. As it came to light that Manhattan had been plagued with espionage, it was agreed upon to shroud Pendulum within the government itself. All those who knew of Pendulum's true intent are here. Though admittedly extreme, we can ensure an ironclad umbrella of secrecy. Information can only come in, and none can go out. As far as anyone outside this valley knows, Pendulum does not exist. This valley does not exist. Interesting, Mr. Uh, head Physicist. I would like to hear some more physics-based research from you, but... I suppose we can get a theoretical bullshit out of you, too. That works for me, whatever, or geopolitics. Geopolitics is good, too, I suppose. So we made our way through the facility slightly. I wonder if we're gonna power the place back up again. Is that the end goal here? I thought we were just here to find the life seed, which... Interesting. We just seem to be powering the building up. We're not really f working towards finding the life seed. I don't have any objective or anything like that. Perhaps we are just as lost as the uh, character is, huh? Maybe that's the idea, right? You're just kind of wandering around the facility anyway, so... You don't exactly know where to go, and there's no marker to suggest where you should go. I kind of like that. I also appreciate that it's done a good job of leading me without feeling too... too entirely linear quite yet. I've been ordered to patrol the Soma facility again today. I've circled through the same rooms 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cutest scientist in the pressure chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Yeah, well, that'll happen, bud. A lot of, uh, a lot of side stories and the little, you know, notes and things like that. Wow, I'll just, I'll just, uh, spark notes this one. Oh, here we go. Actually, I will read this one. This goes all along with what I was talking about earlier. It's odd to think about what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different from anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me, me? I guess, if anything, it's just a pattern. One that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe. Like a whirlpool out of water. And when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. We are all the same universe simply expressing itself. No, are we all the same universe simply expressing itself? That last, uh, that last little sentence works well as a, uh, as a question or a statement. Hmm. 
interesting, a, a worthy thing to leave this episode on. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'll continue this series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Kind of a calmer episode this time. So yeah, if you liked it, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I will see you guys in the next video.